You got the Celtics at the Pacers. Right now, the Celtics are five and a half point favorites on the road in Indiana. Indiana plus 175 on the money line, total sitting at 242 and a half. I'll, I'll kick things off here. I'm going to keep it chalky and go with the Boston Celtics. Um, I mean, for one thing, Tyrese Halliburton is dealing with an illness. So that to me is huge, right? If, if he does play, um, I, I don't know that he would necessarily be 100%. And then if the Pacers are without Tyrese Halliburton, I think they're really going to have their work cut out for them with the Celtics. And, you know, the, the, the Pacers have been surviving, or at least their style is just, hey, run and gun, not play a lot of defense, which is fine for some regular season games. But I th- do think a game like this, uh, where you expect the intensity to be uh, up a little bit, maybe a little tougher defense, uh, maybe running back in transition a little bit more. I really don't think that favors the Pacers. And Tatum is coming off a game where he got thrown out. Uh, I imagine he's going to have a little chip on his shoulder. So I, I think a lot of things trending for the Celts here. Don't don't usually love taking them as a road favorite, but I just think with Hal Burton ill uh, and, and just this Pacers style not being a great match, at least for this first in-season tournament game, I'm all over the Pacers here. Junior, how say you, Celtics Pacers? Yeah, I've got the Celtics on a money line parlay with um, another team that we will talk about shortly. Um, first game, uh, the other, the last game between these two, um, the Celtics put up what a buck fifty-five, I believe. Um, it's hard for me to, you know, believe in this Pacers team without their leader. Uh, I know that, it, you know what, I would be capping, obviously, uh, not to be Captain Obvious here, I would be capping this game different if Halliburton was playing, but not just because of how good he is, but because of the things that he's been saying. I'm tired of losing. Yeah. This tournament's important to me. I want to win something. So he, you know that if he was playing the Pacers' whole um, morale, their motivation, their energy would be completely different. Without him, it doesn't mean that they're not going to bring it. Obviously, they have one of the best coaches in the league in Rick Carlisle. I just think that it's too much to overcome because the one thing that this team does well is shoot the three, which is what keeps them ahead of other teams, that and run the floor. Well, the Celtics are going to negate that. The Celtics are making as many, if not more, threes than them, and the Celtics are the second-best defense in the league. So, um, I and by the way, we shouldn't underestimate – the Celtics' motivation to win this tournament, because guess what? Celtics haven't won anything either. Yeah. Historically, they're a huge franchise, but this core, this core here, they've been to several conference finals. They've been to the finals. They probably want to win something too. So uh, I don't think we should underestimate the Celtics' motivation here. I like them on the money line. Yeah, no, hit on a bunch of good stuff there. I mean, if Halliburton was completely healthy, uh, maybe I could talk myself into even Pacers there as a frisky home dog, uh, because I do think the the crowd will be into this game. Uh, I, I and I am slightly worried about like a Halliburton like uh, Jordan flu game, which is putting the team on his back, um, which would be funny to use a flu game for the first uh, like the qu- the quarterfinal of the in season tournament. But that is that is my concern. Like I think if I lose this, it's because the the information about him being ill is uh, is overblown, and um, you know he ends up falling out. Shark, how see you on uh, Celtics Pacers? Any thoughts here? Yeah, yeah, I found this game to be pretty difficult. I found, I think, specific fade spots for both teams. As Junior mentioned, the previous game between these two teams played on November 1st, Boston scored 155 points. I believe that was the most they've scored in a regular season game in 30 or 40 years or something outrageous. And the reasoning behind it was purely their three-point percentage was off the charts. 20 for 35 from three, that's 57.1%. They outscored Indiana in that game by 45 points from the three-point line. That will regress to more normalcy tonight. And I think that's why you're seeing the line come down from minus 11 to minus 4.5 at open. The reason I don't like Indiana is also a shooting outlier. Go back to their previous game without Halliburton in Miami. They did score 144 points. They shot 65.9% from the field. 56 for 85. They only missed 14 total shots in the second, third, and fourth quarter. So Boston was scorching hot against Indy. Indy's scorching hot coming into the game. And Indy coming off of a road cover, coming home, is 0-3 ATS. 
just not where they travel very well. Boston is also 3-0 and ATS road game one off of a home cover. So those trends would lead you towards Boston here tonight. It's going to be tight. It's going to be like a playoff game. I couldn't get there, but those are the angles. Yeah, no, it, hitting on a bunch of stuff. Um, and then, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but Thursday is when the, the games start out in Vegas, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, just wanted to make sure people were... And, and, um, I'm sorry to cut you off. I just wanted to touch on something that Sharky said, because uh, I watched that game, and um, Bam Adebayo being out was massive in that game. Uh, the Pacers were 10 for, for 11 uh, at the rim. Like, they were getting to the rim and dunking and getting layups at will. That would have been a completely different game if Bam Adebayo had played. That's why they shot so well from the field. They were just – they're making threes and making everything in the paint. It was a bit ridiculous. Yeah. Um, so, again, a uh, huge difference there If or to what version we're going to get Halliburton. I think certainly has a huge impact on this game. So, for me, lock it up, Celtics minus five and a half, and Junior on the Celtics money line as part of a parlay. 